Hi guys and welcome back to Scribe Gaming. I'm your man Scribe and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Alrighty, so we do have yet another Galactic Challenge on our hands and this time your boy Scribe can help you just a little bit because he doesn't have any First Order. Sorry about that, but let's get into it. Alrighty, so today's Galactic Challenge is on the Death Star, and we are going against Mon Mothma Rebels, and they are some nasty pants kind of enemies. Now then, the feats that we do have this particular time, because that's all we're really caring about, is complete the battle, complete the battle with First Order, can't help you there guys, I'm very sorry, hindered movement, win after removing 400% TM, this one we can do, and flawless victory. Okay, so, for us to get that hindered movement feat. We're going to go in with a Vader lead and a bunch of Empire because it's only fitting that the rebel scum get taken down by the Empire. Do you know what I mean? So we're going in with an R6 Darth Vader, an R1 Thrawn in this case, a Gear 11 Palpatine, and a Gear 7 5 Star Moff Gideon. So long as Moff Gideon has got some speed on him, you should be fine. And the last slot we're going to fill with Wat Tambor at R5. Doesn't need to be R5, just needs his Zeta guys, okay? So the reason we choose Vader lead is because there is a 50% chance on Vader's lead for him to remove 20% TM that is irresistible. First move, we're just going to place the weapons tech on Vader, then we're going to Merciless Massacre. We're going to land the Force Crush over on Chirrut so he doesn't counterattack. hopefully we remove some TM, and then we're just going to try and yeet Wedge until he's out of existence. That just helps us a little bit with their DPS. Now he cannot be revived thanks to the weapons tech. Hopefully we get some ability blocks. We're removing TM, which is lovely. We'll be brave, hit cheer up. We've got the ability block and that's what we're looking for. Okay, so in this situation, we can see that the enemy does have quite a bit of TM. We cannot let Mon Mothma take a turn because what she'll do is she'll cleanse the enemies. Cara Dune will take a turn and stun our entire team and that's bad news beers. So immediately swap over to Moff Gideon, and then we're going to go ahead and use his second special, Control the Situation. Now, this will remove 100% of TM from all characters on the field, including your own, uh, and it's irresistible, and then your allies gain 25% TM. Now, you can see that there is a good 70 to 80% on, Mo um, on Mothma, a good 70 to 80% on Cara Dune, and these guys have much less because uh, Vader has already been removing 20% turn for them. So we'll just take away their TM, and at this point, all that's really important is that you do not let Cara Dune take any turns, because if she does, you might as well just game over. So we're gonna Fracture her. We took off TM from Fracture as well, guys. Super, super useful. We're gonna place the uh, Tank Tech over on Palp, because Palp is about to use a special. I'm gonna go ahead and Armor Crush over here, Armor Shred rather. We'll try and land some stuns, probably won't be successful. Chirrut tries to kill our uh, lovely Palpatine there. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's try and get rid of Chirrut. Get him out of existence. Lovely. Power's nearly dead. That's absolutely fine. We'll place this healing tech over here. And then we're just going to focus down Cara Dune. Because if she gets a turn, it's very bad news. Okay, great. We've got another Merciless Massacre here. So let's just basic on Cara Dune. And then we'll try and land a big crush, hopefully remove some TM. We didn't, unfortunately. I'm trying to decide here, guys. Do I do I yeet this pow or do I let him live? Um, because we have to think about removing the TM. Dots killed him. <laughs> Dots killed him. Now, I don't know if I did quite enough in that one. And because I've already got the feet... It's already been done, but that's the general principle that you want to take when you are looking at trying to um, trying to remove that TM. Okay, so make sure you've got your Moff Gideon. Using a Vader lead helps with additional TM removal. Your um, uh, Wat Tambor will also help assisting with those uh, secondary attacks to remove TM. Um, and then, of course, the big player is going to be Moff Gideon. If you can get it so that the enemy team has a lot of TM maxed out when you use that ability, you will almost certainly get the uh, the feat done in one. You just have to be very careful that the enemy does not take a turn first. We could look into modding our Moff Gideon for more speed, just to make sure that he's got enough turn meter to go before the enemy. Um, 
and you know you can remove the maximum amount of TM. You could probably do it under a Palpatine lead as well to feed more TM to your turn, your team. But you really want to let the enemy build up enough TM to really try and uh, remove as much as you can with his control the situation ability. Now, for me, as I said, I do have rubbish first order, but seen that even if I've got rubbish first first order, I can go in at tier three and complete the event even with the first order that I have, and this will still let me attain the second best rewards. So I'll just go in with this lot, like gear nine, gear 11, gear nine, gear nine, gear eight, nothing fancy here. I'm just going in on tier three because this will give me the remaining tickets that I need to, um, to get what I want. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, at this stage, Mon Mothma does not have the Zeta to avoid being attacked, which is really useful to us. We're gonna go ahead and remove the TM there, we'll get the taunt up, and then when it comes round to Kylo Ren on Mask's ability, we're going to go ahead and get a two-turn stun over on Mon Mothma to stop her summoning the units, calling the mass assists, etc, etc. So let's constantly be feeding TM over to our Kylo Ren. The reason we want to do that is because we want to try and recycle through his mass stun, his two-turn stun, as frequently as possible. Let's get as much TM as we possibly can. Um, we're probably going to lose our Stormtrooper here any second. But we'll taunt anyway, because I'd rather lose him than anybody else. Let's take out Cara Doom. 95. So next turn, we'll be able to use the event special ability to completely remove someone from the team. I'm actually going to... Mm, could do it on Mon Mothma, but I think I'll do it on Pow instead. So he's gone. Again, we want to just feed over TM over here. Control Mon Mothma as much as possible, and we're going to focus on Wedge now instead of focusing on Chirrut. And the reason for that is Chirrut counters attacks, and we don't want any of that business going on. Now let's get a big hit over here, get our bonus turn, get another big hit over here on Chirrut. Lovely jubbly. And then, there we go. Job done. So even with really weak First Order guys, it is entirely possible for us to get the second best rewards. These are all Gear 8, Gear 9 at best. I think the First Order Officer was 11, but that's not a massive investment, guys. So the only other feats that you really have to do is just to complete without losing a unit. To do that, guys, simply go in with your best teams. Take in your GLs, take in your Luke, take in your Jedi. Anything that can complete it without losing a unit is absolutely fine. I think you can even do it with Vader if you uh, if you tried hard enough and actually started yeeting people out of existence. Um, so yeah, that's going to about do it for this one, guys. It's a quick and easy one, which is a nice change for once to not have Mandalorian feats there. Unfortunately, I can't get these ones because I don't have the First Order, but I know many people have got SLKR, and they'll find this one an absolute breeze. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Do let me know in the comments down below if you got your tickets. I want to know that you got your nice, juicy Mark II slicing materials. I care. I am, you know, here for you guys. I'm here for you. And also, you can check the description. You will find links to all my social media, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord. Please do come join me. Have a good chin wag, and we'll all have a bloody marvellous time. All right, so until the next video, guys, I'll see you. Peace out. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.